I think Mu Mu was the strongest mid I faced. I I can't really judge because every game, almost every game, I was getting owned. I mean, getting ganked. So yeah, I think Mu was the hardest player I solo. Yeah, I've like gained a lot of experience, earned a lot of money, <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> I usually like started crying, flaming my teammate and stuff like that, being negative all the game, but. We yeah, we tried to fix it in the like, last game versus v VG. I mean the same final. So I didn't cry after getting ganked today. It was pretty good. I made a sick comeback too. I kind of like the way VG drafts. They're not predictable at all. They do a lot of different things, and most of it works. Um, against us, they did some interesting things. I think most of their drafts were fine, especially game one. And game three, I think we were outdrafted, but they messed up a lot. In game two, their draft was really questionable. They just had not very good heroes in my opinion. Um, we actually do talk a lot, it's just we don't yell, so most people can't really tell. We just use, uh, we use TeamSpeak and we talk quietly and we're always pretty calm. There's not really much yelling. I uh, get a little excited when we win, but other than that it's, it's pretty um, quiet. But we try to just have one person talking rather than like a ton of people talking. Uh, I, I'm extremely happy. I have finished second 11 times last year. So winning at a big turn like this for the first time since Samaji feels, it's, I, I think I'm in shock because I can't even express how I feel about winning. What it feels like to win? Um, I don't know what to say. I expect to win, so I only get sad when we lose and when we win. I'm, I don't know, it's my expectation to win, so I feel the same, I guess. I just don't feel bad now. I, th I think a lot of people had their doubts about us as a team after the reshuffle that happened in the West. Um, it was really nice to come out to this tournament and do incredibly well and come home. Like We would have been happy with even like a top three finish or maybe even less than that. Um, but to win it all is pretty, um, pretty surprising and I think we're all very happy and very grateful for our performance. It feels good. It's, it's nice to have a change. Change is good, I guess. Well, I think the sniper ban took a part of it, but I think more than anything, we together as a team had a big talk and decided like, we were too down on ourselves for making mistakes, and we just fixed them in the other games, and we just we helped each other instead of get down on each other so we could win. Venge is just a hero that they use really well in a lot of their strategies. They did a lot of Venge Drow Ranger, which is something we were a little worried about. Also, Venge is pretty good against Enigma, and we picked Enigma twice in those three games, so we wanted to not play against it for that. Sniper as well kind of dominated us in the winner bracket final where we lost 0-2. And they've also had a lot of success with the hero, and we haven't really figured out how to beat it yet. So we just decided to ban it. And once it started working out for us, it worked the first two games, we just decided to just continue to do the same bans until they proved otherwise. Uh, I think that the hero is incredibly strong. I think that as sort of a tournament's meta progresses, people, I don't know, it seems like people forget about heroes, or they forget to prepare for heroes. Like, they might not have anything that goes through the BKB battle, and then the hero gets more powerful in that way. He's also a very um, clutch hero, so as tournaments go late, I guess people will get confidence as they win and they want to pick heroes like Enigma with big ultimates. Well, I had like a really good start that game, obviously, and uh, my support stacked the camps for me. That's why I was able to like turbo myself through the game and really uh, pick up farm. I think uh, I've been practicing Batrider this entire tournament, and that was the first time we picked it, so I was just glad we actually got to finally run it because I put so much practice in. It's actually Universe who found some L, and I, as far as grooming them, I don't know. Just dealing with their ego is a big thing. He's still got a big ego that needs to be worked off a little bit, but we've refined his play a little bit, and there's like he has so much talent, and playing with more experienced players, we can help him use that talent to become a really great player. I mean, I have to finish my high school. If I'm done up with my high school and they're paying me like good money, I mean, why not? I know that Storm Street uh, name was X in Dota 1, but I've never seen him playing, so I have no idea how good what, how good his, his Storm was. Yeah. Uh, it felt good to beat him, of course. Like A lot of people had doubts that we'd even be a good team anymore after they left, so I don't really feel like I got revenge on them. I'm just glad I proved everyone wrong that we're still a good team without them. Um, that's pretty tough to say. I'd say... The easiest ones are like a lot of the Chinese style was based around five manning. Uh, they would pick heroes like Medusa and Shadow Fiend, Russian early mech, and just, or maybe even pick Rasta as well, and Tidehunter and five man towers. And I think the West was a little bit ahead of that. We knew how to split push. Um, us and Secret, especially, were very good about 
um, using the map um, map control to our advantage and spreading them out and not allowing them to five men. So uh, China in general is a little bit behind the meta this tournament, I think. And if they can learn how to deal with split push a little bit better, then maybe they'll um, do better next time. Universe is a really nice guy. Helps me getting food and stuff like it. BPD is a great captain and a great person. He's a bit salty, but he's a great person. <laughs> AU is the most nicest guy I've ever met. And Fear is an old, old-looking good man.